Okay, hello YouTube and Facebunch, this is Sphinxer279 and I am Asparagus. Um, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make clips. That's right, because a few users on Facebunch have been bugging me for them and it's understandable, they want them. So um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to make quick clips like these. Yes, like those. Nothing too exciting, but still. Yeah, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to make clips like that. So, what you're going to need to do is you are going to need there we go. You are going to need a no draw block, which is 192 by 192 units, like that. Then, what you're going to do, you are going to select the top face and the front face. And you're going to head over to the displacement tab in the uh, texture application tool and choose create and do it to the power of three. So then you should have a little grid and no sides, and just top and front. Right, next thing you're going to do, you're going to head over to paint geometry. Now, in top down view, if you're bringing the, the displacement out towards you in top down view, then you're going to want it on the y axis. If you're changing it left or right, you're going to want it on the x-axis. Simple. Okay, so I've got one on the y-axis, and uh, distance is how far the brush is going to, or how far the displacement tool is going to send out the uh, vertices on the displacement. So, like that. That is 60. Like that. Ooh. Radius is obviously how much of the displacement. So, like that. So you want that line to about. 50, I just think you need that. Yeah, that's fine. And then you want this around about 9 or 10. So then, what you're going to do, you're going to start just building the basics of a cliff. So that generally includes like extending the bottom of the cliff and slowly bringing it out towards the top as well. You can make it really bumpy if you want, like this. So it's like that, because that's fine if you have it like that, you can go to smooth, turn off spatial, and click, and it will smooth out for you, so it looks nice and sexy. But um, click again, and obviously do it again. But um, yeah, I'm just going to bring the front of my cliff out some more, because that's how I like cliffs. Bring the front out, and then you want to bring out a little bit more, just above it, so it's like. Then once again, smooth it so it doesn't look shit. That's fine. And then on the top, you can do the same thing. You're gonna have to put spatial back on. Go back to raise lower. Change this to face normal. That's fine. And then you can start clicking around here. And once again, if you go mental like that, you don't really want to do that. But if you go a little bit mental, like that, bring out your smooth tool, turn off spatial, click, click, boom. No, that's a Modern Warfare 2 tile. But, um, no, that looks fine like that. Make sure you can't see anything on the side. But then you're going to want to texture it. And there are special textures for this. Oh, shit, which I already have. Called blend textures. So if you go into your texture application tool and search blend, you're going to get all these textures here. And then you're going to want like blend cliff dirt, it's fine. Apply that to the top and bottom, or the top and front, sorry. And uh, you can start painting the alpha on it. Now, painting alpha, that's like uh, Microsoft's paint tool. What you do, you set the faces, go to the displacement tab with the texture application tool, go to paint alpha, and then go to raise lower again. And the brush, that is your Microsoft Paint brush size, for example. So 2 is a good value, and that is how hard you are painting. So if you set that to 255, that's going to paint solidly. Like that. Not good. So you want that one about 40. You can start painting that like that. Or you can have even less to make it actually look like it's blended on. Like that. And then at the top as well. so it looks a little bit more natural like that but I'm just like 
like showing us as an example. And then, ooh, you've got a big empty space there. But you don't really want to be able, like create all that again, do you? So what you do, you hold shift and drag it so you can duplicate it. Do that all the way along. Then you notice, oh, it looks a bit uneven. I can't have that in my map, surely. But no, that's wrong. You can select them all, go back into your texture application tool, go back to displacement, and do so. And as long as they're of the same power, then it'll be fine. But um, once you've sewn them all together, you might want to just uh, paint some more geometry on there, on the uh, y axis. Just bring some out like that. So, so then it looks like it's not the same all the way across. But um, and that's it really, actually. That's a basic cliff. Now you can spend days and days and days and days on it and put it up a lot more. But I'm not going to. I'm just showing this as a quick example so you can learn on your own and do it yourself. But, um, that's the basics of how to create a cliff. And uh, I'll just compile this and then go ahead in game and see what it looks like. Come on, there we go. I'll see you in game in about two seconds. Okay, so here we are in game again. No, not again, we haven't even been in game. And I am just going to load up this map. And have a look. So, this is what the top of the map looks like. I'm just going to scale down this cliff. And that's what they look like. Now, there's light coming through there. Because light comes through. Um, so you can have to move those down or not. But yeah, they look quite nice actually. It's not too bad. But yeah, that is how you to create basic clips. Obviously, you'll want to pretty up yourself a bit more. But yeah, that looks okay. So, this was tutorial number 17, I think. And I will see you later. Goodbye.